This is the new revolutionary BlackBerry Curve 8520. Now, it's not revolutionary. Curves aren't revolutionary compared to their touchscreen phones or iPhones or anything else. But what it contains inside and out makes this phone very important for RIM and a BlackBerry for the future. First things first, inside is a brand new processor, double the speed of previous curves, quadruple the memory. This machine is really fast. There is also, you notice, the little trackball is gone, and in its place is a trackpad. And I have to tell you, this works really well. It's sensitive to touch. It's much faster, much more accurate, and a well-done addition. So this touchpad is a real big boon for this phone because it will appeal to younger users and, and actually any user who's really interested. I wouldn't be surprised if we find similar devices on bigger and better BlackBerry phones in the near future. This is the future of Blackberries. The other thing that's really incredible, oh, there's a good keyboard, but on top of the phone, there are keys built in for the media player. It's a 2.5G phone, so it only works on Edge, not 3G, but for most stuff, that's fast enough, and it's much easier on battery life. The other interesting thing is it's got Wi-Fi, uh, 802.11G. What that means is it allows you to use the T-Mobile system that's built in this phone for UMA, which is, which is their term for cell phone calls over voice over IP. How much? T-Mobile started selling today for $129.99 with a two-year contract. But here's something strange. Walmart started, actually started selling it in their stores a few days ago, and they're selling it for $49.88. That's a huge difference. I'd say go check out the phone. Go check it out at Walmart. This is a great phone, and it's a harbinger of what's coming for bigger and better BlackBerry phones.